after Bakhmut, the Russians began to lose on the Avdivka and Marinka fronts. The Avdivka front is one of the hottest spots in Ukraine, but the Russian occupation forces there are running out of steam, just as they are on the Bakhmut front. Oleksiy Dmitrashkivsky, spokesman for the Ukraine's defense forces on the Tavria front, said it. It is not extremely hot on the Avdivka front, but enemy forces are continuing to attack the city of Avdivka itself and are trying to encircle it. Fighting also continues on the Marinka front, where enemy forces are also trying to attack our positions. Over the course of the past day, enemy forces attacked the Donetsk front 31 times, including 15 attacks on the Avdivka front. A week or two ago, we had days when the Russian forces would attack 95 times a day on each front. So we can say that the enemy forces are running out of steam. Last week, they'd already had to deploy reserve forces, a unit of the 98th Airborne Brigade and two tank companies participated in hostilities. We can decisively say that the enemy has exhausted their main forces and suffered quite substantial losses in personnel and equipment, Dmitrashkivsky said. Dmitrashkivsky said that the Vuleda front is a bit quieter than the Avdivka and Marinka fronts. The Russians sustained significant losses in personnel and equipment there, and they are unlikely to recover given the frequent explosions in Melitopol and Berdyansk. The spokesman for the Tavria front forces said that it was too early to speak of a Ukrainian counter-offensive in Zaporizhia or Blast, even though Russian forces are reportedly reinforcing their defenses there. Dmitrashkivsky said that the Russians were reinforcing their defense positions there because they were in fact expecting a Ukrainian counter-offensive. 